welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm back with another haul. So I've got bits and pieces that need putting away. Um, so before I sort of get into stuff I bought in the shops, um, the lovely Nikki Brown, who is a subscriber of mine, got in touch and she said she had another one of the ribbon holders. Um, you know, I hauled the bits that you add onto the Hobbycraft trolley and one of them with a ribbon holder. Um, and she offered me that one. So we agreed, I agreed to buy that one off her, which is a white one. So it's just the same as my green one. I won't show it to you again. Um, but when that arrived and I popped all my ribbons on, she'd also put in some other goodies as well. So thank you so much, Nikki. She would popped me in some of these little sprinkle embellishments from um, Stamping Up. She also put in a lovely blue ribbon, but that's on my ribbon holder. Um, so I won't get that one off. And she put in two lovely stamp sets. So here's the little bird from this one. So this one's called Language of Friendship. The language of friendship is not words, but meanings. And that's that one. And I was having a little play around as well. So I was trying out some of my watercolour pens, as you can see. That didn't work there. Um, and then also this one, always elegant. So really pretty kind of background bit and always, that's a nice sentiment, isn't it? And that's how that comes out. They were just being done with them. Um, I'm just trying out my watercolour pens. That's why they look like that. Um, but thank you so much for thinking of me when you put that in the post. So that's those bits. Um, so we will go on to things I've been picking up. I might just turn my glue gun off so I don't have a an issue there. So where to begin? I think because this is all in the way here. I was in the range and I picked up a whole load of little dinky dies. So this one was down to a pound, that one was down to one pound thirty-nine, that one's down to a pound and that one's down to 80p. So basically the dies, to make more sense, I got two that were swans. Um, so these were all reduced down. So the one which had the two little swans there I've got the, this one, which I think was already, was that a pound originally? I'm sure it was a pound originally, I'm making it look like it was in a sale, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, it was originally a pound, but I got it for a pound anyway, because I just wanted different sizes of swans. And then when I saw that one, I was going to get that. Then I saw that and I was like, do you know what? For £2.39 for the two, I'm just going to get both. And I thought I'd try out one of these as they were reduced. Um... That's the Jojo's Dreamland one. And then this one was down to 80p and I thought that would make some cute little embellishments. So I'll show you how they come out. Right, first of all, we've got my little doggy. So my little Dachshund sausage doggy. I think he's so cute in gold. His eyes are a bit big there. Um, but there we go. I think that'd be really cute once I start playing with them properly. Then we have the smallest one. So I have been adding some fluff and some feathers onto these ones. I think it's really pretty, really nice little size. So that's my little swans that go there. And I was looking out for these paper pads that I saw um, Cadge Crafts haul, but for like 50p, but maybe they were just in her shop, I don't know. Um, then look how gorgeous it is. I didn't realise with this one, it's like a frame die, so it gives you the gold frame. And then obviously you can back it with a different colour and I really like that. Or you can paper piece it in and that's just coloured with distressed inks. But how nice is that? That one was £1.39. Um, and then I had a bit of a play around with my little octopus, including cutting out parts of it. So it's kind of cute, isn't it? So with these cheap little dies, they're just sort of a perfect size, aren't they, for making cute little embellishments. Um, and if you're not in love with them, it's not the end of the world because you've only spent a pound. But there we go, there's those. I now need to try and pick them all up. And put them, oh, sticky, to the side. So I also picked up a couple of magnetic sheets for a pound each whilst I was in there. A pound for two, isn't it? Um, but that's not very exciting. They also had these for 50 pigs. I'm starting to think about Christmas. The foiled words. Now I've seen these. These have been out for quite some time. 
like a few years, I think. Um, and they gradually get cheaper and cheaper. So I felt 50p with a good price. So I might use them for some things beforehand, otherwise they will um, end up being in my December daily, which is a project I do really like, enjoy doing. It's a very sort of, I don't tend to share it on the, um, on the YouTube, like a personal one where I just document December. I did do every day originally, and then I just found as life has got busier, just doing it when I feel I can is the best wish. That doesn't even have to be for Christmas and peace. So lovely for scrapbooking and things, but you could probably turn them into a card as well. Um, they're just a bit bigger. What else did I get? And the last thing I think that I got from the range was just one of these little file folders. And the reason being, because I own these dies, I own them for quite a while, of all the majors go, the everyday journaling ones. And I wanted to make a little folder using this bit and then decorating it with these different bits. And I've got another set from this range coming. Um, but what I found, unfortunately, is the holes don't quite match up <laughs> this ring binder annoyingly. So I've just had to cut separate holes and I used the um, page reinforcer just to go around it. But you can see I had to cut different holes in it. But there's using that tab die as well. So the idea being that I might do a bit of journaling in it and sort of gradually fill it up. Um, maybe stamping some images. This is a hunky-dory piece of cardstock, but they're about £1.50, I think. So we will see how I get on doing that. So that's what I picked up from the range today. I actually went in there to get some gifts for the children who were leaving my class um, because they're going on to secondary school. Um, I'm talking about that, it's one of the sweet little gifts. Um, got lots of chocolates and wine, and, and we even got some money donated to us to all go out for a meal. But I do like these sweet little things. I know they're just little, little sort of cheap things that they pick up, but it's it's, it's always nice, isn't it? Best teacher ever. I'm going to write all my little notes in there. So I've got that on my desk, ready to do my crafty notes. Um, we also, no, let's not go into that one yet. Let's do eBay. So I picked up this one, Hunky Dory Moonstone Cutting Dies. It was about five or six pounds, I think, which I thought was a really good price for this one, the Deco Dreams card. And I thought oh, I'll probably just end up using these bits because this bit looks kind of weird and I'm not sure what to use it for, but I love the deck, Art Deco bits. And that's what it looks like. But then I got it and I had to go at making up the card. And I've got to put my drink on it. <laughs> so now it's got a bit wet, so ignore that but look how it comes out and this is some of the hunky dory art deco cardstock but i really like that i really like that st style of card and it does stand up as well and it folds flat i mean it would still be a little bit chunky so you'd probably be looking at a large um a large stamp for that but how nice is that so yeah, I really like that die set. I'm going to be playing with that. I think I'm trying to make some Christmas cards with that as well. So I was very happy to get that one. Did I get anything else off eBay this week? Just having a quick look around. Can't think of anything. Um, so we went into the charity shop. I'll just quickly share that. Um, I've got a whole load of bits for school, like exciting toys and things for the children, which I won't show you. But then I did pick up for myself. Uh, for 50p just some thread um just because some of them i like these old ones just for display um but like a big thing like that is going to last me forever on my sewing machine whether that will fit is another matter but i'll have to check it's just i thought 50p and i've got some of the colors that i do use quite frequently and that's a good color um so although they're quite old they still seem pretty good quality that they're not going to break. I mean, that's Gutterman, which is what I buy my threads now. I know this is a very old one, but it doesn't seem to have lost its quality. So I should be able to use these on my sewing machine for sewing projects. Not overly exciting, but you know, kind of a useful thing to pick up. And then another random thing that I initially picked up for the children, and then I thought, well, I might give it a go myself, was a quilling kit. And I thought, oh, the children might enjoy this. And then I thought, I might enjoy doing a bit of quilling. I mean, if I did it, I wouldn't use the um, little pictures. That's 
very much designed for small children, but let's get it out and have a quick look. I do think I might have a go with the old little quilling tool. Those pictures I might be able to use just as backgrounds at school anyway. But you get all these bits of paper to have a go at quilling. You get some cheapo glue. That could probably go for the children to use um, for their arts and crafts. I do think. So I've seen some people do some lovely projects. I saw that. What's the name? Is it Katie and Phil? <laughs> the, the very posh lady who does the... Um, she does her little Kirst, uh, Kirsty's Homemade Crafts. That's it. She did a lovely quilling project. Let's have a look. So I think you take that off. And then you get one of these. And everyone who's watching who knows how to do quilling will be like, this is, you're making this look more complicated than it is. And then you put it in here, into the slit in this, and start, let's get it focused, start turning it around. But it can't be that difficult if they're aiming it at children, one hopes. Oh. No, we don't want to push it down. I was thinking push it down there. No, let's keep going. going keep going they do give you instructions here fix one end to the quilling pen spin the paper around shape the roll to the desired shape and size and secure by applying glue see i've had various quilling sets given to me in the past as gifts like years ago and then never got around to using it but having seen some lovely projects using it and sort of a bit more like well maybe i'll give it a, give it a shot so then you glue it down make it actually stick and then you're meant to sort of shape them aren't you so let's try and get it into a bit of a teardrop shape okay that's sweet isn't it and then obviously they're suggesting the idea of it going on here and filling up i wouldn't wouldn't do that because I'm not a small child. And actually, I'm not entirely sure that I can imagine a child being able to do that. That sounds, I'm not sure they're that able. But I quite like that. I wonder whether I'd give it a go, a little quilling project. But you get all of these. And if I don't do it, I will pass it on to the children. I just don't know whether they would get frustrated doing that or not. Let me know if you've, if you've done quilling before. What is this glue? I think you have to open it. I wonder what that is. If it's PVA glue, I might keep them for myself. You never know. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I got from the charity shop. Um, what was I going to say? My mind has gone blank. Let me know what you have been buying. If you've been buying anything, let me know what you've been crafting. If you've been crafting anything. And let me know if you've ever done quilling and whether you like it and whether you think that I would like it. People often send me things say, oh, I think you would like this or you would like that. So I think you've got a fairly good idea of what I like and I don't like. So... <laughs> If you think that that's something that I might give a go, I think I could make it pretty and I shall see you very soon.